Let's get stuck into today's news. Plenty to talk about as always. Ugh. Wow! Galligens, and welcome back to another episode of That Slot Car Bulletin for a Friday. Yes, another Friday is here. This year is absolutely flying. And if you are around the rest of the world, it is Saturday. So yeah, we are in the future here. So filmed on Friday, seen on Saturday. <laughs> But as always, we've got plenty of action. I was going to say, we've got plenty of news for your Friday bulletin. But before we do, I do want to say a massive thank you to you all for tuning in regularly. And a very big thank you to the channel members, which it is growing. And you can see them here. So thank you very much to the channel members. But that's enough of this. Let's dive headfirst into the news. But let's kick off with some big news from AFX. If you haven't seen my latest video that dropped big AFX news, <laughs> what, what a title. Uh, they did release obviously two new liveries. We know about this, the Monza Incredible from 2023. Stunning looking livery. All the cars so far, which is one, looks incredible and they perform well. My review's coming. It all makes sense very soon. And they're also releasing the Spa, which is very similar to the first release, which is the one that's out in the wild now. It's slight differences that, that was raced at Spa 2023. But that wasn't the big news because I'm hoping there's more liveries. We did do a guest, a guest video not long ago. We've got two right. The big news was they are doing sets. We could have guessed that. We do know that. But one guess I think we couldn't really guess was are they going to do other F1 teams? And I can confirm they are. Now, I don't know if it's team or teams. So let's just say team slash S. And I did my prediction. I was hoping it was Haas um, being an American team. And then I threw my second, I guess, wild card in there as Williams because it's American as well. Yeah, it's American. So that's the two I think that they might do. Now, I do not know the teams. They have not disclosed that to me. I dare say I will find out before everyone else, but I'm only controlled by what they can let me release at what time. Do I have other news to share when I'm allowed to? Yes, I do. So, and it's not F1 related. Wow. But that's enough of the F, uh, the F. That's enough of the AFX news for today. What's next? And next we have Scalatrix showing off their latest release, which is the 1977 New York City Taxi. They're saying it's highly anticipated. It probably is. If you live in America, this will be a must. If it was a, an Australian taxi cab, I'll be definitely buying it because I like Australia. Uh, but if you are in America and this sort of cab re resonates with you, it's a no brainer. Also, you might see a movie car out of this, the movie Taxi, that'd be great. And then hopefully we see what other stuff they come up with because they're not just making it for the taxi. Surely there's other liveries coming. Do I know? No. Will I get the next quarter of what's coming out update? Yes. Have I had it yet? No, but I will let you know once I'm allowed to. So there you go. There's really, i say cool car from Scalatrick. And if you are wanting to buy directly from them, uh, please use the link that's in our channel description and I'll try and link it below. That does directly help the channel, but that's directly from Scalatrick uh, UK. Yeah. Next we have a Carrera. They are showing off, perfect timing, Mercedes versus Red Bull. Now, if you don't know, of course they do F1 2023 cars as well in the 143 scale. I wish they did it in 132. Uh, watch this space, I guess you can say. I did speak to them when I was over there last year. Um, that's all I can say. Watch this space. We'll see what happens in the future. Good looking cars. I'm a huge fan of 143. You will see a 143 track in this shed because I think it's a, it's a scale we are missing out on. You can have a lot of fun racing with that scale. Um, so you watch your space, there will be a four lane. I will squeeze it somewhere, whether it's on the roof or on the mezzanine, we will squeeze it in here somewhere. So there you go, Ferrari versus Mercedes by Carrera. And our good friends Bauer has showed us some more updates of the MG. It's available now, beautiful looking car. And remember, this is HO scale. This is as small as small can be in the slot car world. And the detail is phenomenal. Uh, yes, it is a convertible, but take a look. We've got the interior, we've got the man. Bauer is very, very good at doing fine details. And they perform really well, of course. We use them for a special. So if you are wanting an MG, it's available from Bauer. And next we have NSR showing off their star car for the year. This is their catalog car. It's the C8R Corvette uh, in multiple colors here. There's a release date of the 30th of April. I believe we'll see that drip out around the rest of the world, maybe May, June-ish, depending on when distributors get it. But there is a, I think they said it was 
April the 30th, so fingers crossed. Uh, very big fan of this, you know I love NSR. I love the multiple colors. If you wanna go club racing, you've got multiple colors to choose out of. And I think they're gonna be really fast. And apologies if you can hear some noise in the background. That is my neighbors. Unfortunately, that echoes because we're on some big blocks here. So you will hear some noise coming through. What can I do about it? And next we have an update from Fly for the Foro Slot event, which I believe it's this weekend. If I get it wrong, I will update it somewhere here. Um, awesome event, but they've also told us they've got some news and they've got some prototypes to show whilst they're there. And this is the list of some of them. The R5 GT Turbo, which is the Renault, front wheel drive, not the wide body sucker, awesome looking thing. They've got the BMW 3.0, the Lancia 037 and the Audi Quattro from the movie now it slipped my mind. If I remember the post, it'll be here. Uh, and the London Sydney Porsche, which to me, or sorry, Porsche, which to me is, yeah, it's a cool car because it, obviously it's connected with Australia. And they've also said they've kept some news up their sleeve. So there's gonna be some surprises there, which is very exciting. Good friend of the channel, Slot Pixels. Hopefully he's there. Uh, he did make a comment on one of the videos and if he does get in the news, he will share that with us. Absolute legend. So look forward to the Forest Slot event, which, I can't wait. And a really big update from CG Slot Cars in regards to brushless. I do like their post on their Facebook. I did share it on the That Slot Car group. It says, uh, we won't get into the debate of brushless pros and cons, but we're moving forward with our R&D. Really cool, because I, th I think there is a room for brushless here. I'm excited. What is it? Well, they are showing the motor pod with axle. So this is new. Well, I'm gonna say with axle, because they've showed a complete picture. Very exciting, of course. At the start, they did just did the surrounding for the brushless motor. Now they have a motor pod, and I'll say with axle, because it looks like a full setup. But they've also said in the comments, next will be a, a car, or a full car I've put. So they're gonna do a car. That's exciting. So you might see a brushless, or hopefully you'll see a brushless CG slot car. I will reach out to them, see what news I can get. Um, some teasers maybe, and I'll definitely see if I can get some samples because this is good. I'm a big fan of brushless. There is a big you know, tug of war. Do we need it? Don't we need it? I think we need it. It just gives us more options. You don't have to use it. Uh, yes, our old ways will still be here, but I think it's great for the hobby. But I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. And next we have the boys from Magnetic Racing with, uh, they've called it quirky. I'm gonna say two quirky products here. The first one, <laughs> the first one I find funny because I did a review that suits this perfectly. The horse and stable, I've called it. First one up is the stable. So yes, it's a 132 scale stable for your horse. Why did I find that funny? Uh, many moons ago, I did a review of the Scalatric slot car horse and I think he needs to retire. So this could be a good place for him to be put to bed. And they've also got the horse car but read the fine caption. If you're buying it to get the horse as well, the horse does not come with it. It's just the cart, 132 scale as well. Awesome idea. Um, it's a bit of a left field thing, but I've got a giggle and I'll, I probably have a use for it. And they did say they are making a farmhouse as well, which is a really good move because let's face it, we've got a lot of beautiful tracks. Some people do some nice dioramas. Also, they do some nice countryside tracks. A farm will look perfect. So someone will use this and I think it's gonna look great. I'm actually excited about it. But the next one they've said, and which is new, 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 they've actually called it the Quirky Shape Kiosk. I like this. Um, it's very hard not to like these wood kits that the brands are pumping in, especially from Magnetic Racing. Yes, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it just dresses up your track. It brings life to your track. So I say more of it, brings them more. But which I'm more excited about, uh, honestly, uh, the horse stable. <laughs> And next, don't forget about the two big race events in Australia. We've got the Revo slot Nats at Showisher slots. Now, I am trying to get some white kits together so I can do some of my own liveries to go racing. Myself and Built by Brendan, I'm gonna try and do some liveries. Uh, make great content, will it make a great car? Probably not, but that's what I'm gonna try and do. If I do run out of time, I'll just use standard cars, fix them up, get ready to go. So look out for that. Also, we've got the An An Anasar, <laughs> the Anasar titles at Mr. Slot Car. I'm hoping I've got my cameras by then to at least go there and film it for them, uh, and maybe do some commentating during the race. Will I be able to go racing? I don't know yet. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I'm stretching myself a little bit thin, but I'm gonna try and attend if I can. Uh, 
but I'd love to go racing there, but let me see what I can do there. Uh, that is that Mr. Slot Car here in Melbourne, Australia. And let's not forget the Scale Electric Swap Meet, the official Melbourne version. Of course, they had it in New South Wales. Now it's our turn. So I'm definitely gonna try and go to that one. Yes, I will film that to bring it to the rest of the world. Uh, I wanna go pick up some goodies. I've got some grails in mind. I won't share that yet. That'll be future videos. I will share that with the members though. So if you wanna know what I'm gonna be searching for, might be surprised, you might actually unfollow. Uh, so yeah, there's three big events coming up. And if there's anything else, if you're a shop, if you're a store, if you're an event holder and you've got something big that you wanna share, please reach out to me. I do miss a lot of this stuff. I don't see everything. So email me and the email is always attached to the video description and the channel description. Yeah. And let's finish off with track of the week and an absolute banger was shown on a good friend of the channel, Shane Hughes's YouTube channel. Please go check him out and subscribe. I actually miss doing these. There's a really good event on YouTube where people share tracks from around the world. And he has showed the Utah Mega Track. <laughs> Mate, epic. So that deserves track of the week with a shout out to Husey for his channel. Jump over there, take a look. These videos do really well. Um, I do miss doing them. You will see a series back on here because there's so many beautiful tracks now. So go check out the Utah Mega Track presented by Shane Hughes. So that's a wrap on today's edition of That's Like Our Bulletin for a Friday. As always, thank you legends for tuning in regularly and a massive thank you to the channel members. There is a lot going on at the moment in the channel. Um, of course, I'm a one-man band, so please bear with me. We've got tracks to build. This section, the Carrera section, is growing. I'm modifying the Scale Electric section nearly every day. We've got the build of the Scale Auto pretty much about to take off. Uh, so please bear with me. It's school holidays here in Melbourne, Australia, so I'm doing daddy daycare for the next two weeks, so I'm just drip feeding what I can. And stay tuned, the Carrera review is coming. Of course, with school holidays, it's been a bit tricky to try and get that out, but you might see that slot car kid in that video with me. So I think it's gonna be a joint effort by me and him. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram, YouTube, and all those great places, if this is the kind of content you like, please consider subscribing. But be safe, take care, support your local, you're too far away, bye!